Hafade, Tito, and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to join a virtual hearing in the CNMI courts. For now, only parties and not the public can join. However, virtual hearings are recorded and will be made available later to the public. The hearing will be held online through Microsoft Teams. If you don't know what this is, don't worry about it. We will show you. To start, you need three things. An email address, internet connection, a device that lets you connect to the internet, such as a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. You need an email address because the clerk will email you the link to join the virtual hearing. The court uses Microsoft Teams to conduct virtual hearings. On the day of your scheduled hearing, go to the email from the clerk and click on the link. This should bring you straight into Microsoft Teams. Your device might ask you if you want to join Microsoft Teams through the web browser or to download the app. The clerk may also ask you to test your microphone, so please listen for any pre-hearing instructions from the clerk. If you have issues, please contact the clerk's office immediately or send an email message to the clerk whom you received the link from. You're almost there. Here are some tips. Make sure the battery on the device is fully charged. I suggest plugging in your device to an outlet, if you can, to be sure it doesn't run out of power. Try to join the virtual hearing 15 minutes before it starts so you can familiarize yourself with the settings. This is the camera button. Click it to turn the camera on or off. You should be able to see yourself on the screen when the camera is on. The way you see yourself is how everyone else in the virtual hearing will see you. It is important for the judge to see you, so make sure your camera is turned on. This is a microphone button. It controls the microphone on your device. When the microphone is on, everyone in the virtual hearing can hear you and your surroundings. This is how the microphone button looks when it is on. This is how it looks like when it is muted. Notice the slash across the button when muted. Make sure that your mic is muted so as to not disturb any ongoing hearings. Choose a quiet area to have your virtual hearing. A quiet surrounding allows you to focus and clearly hear the court and lets the court also hear you. When you are ready to attend the virtual hearing, click the Join button. You may need to wait until a clerk admits you. Also, remember that this is a virtual hearing before the court and you should also make sure that your clothes are appropriate for court. Lastly, remember that these virtual hearings are recorded and can be viewed later by the public. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and Caesar's Masi.